Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy CNC. Today we are going to do a Fusion 360 tutorial on a lathe part. We'll do some we'll do some facing, turning, drilling, and some reaming. So let's get started. Okay, first we're gonna design the part. We go to sketch, create a circle, go about three inches, finish sketch, extrude it. We'll extrude it about, let's go 3.5 inches. Okay, so we have a cylinder. Next, we'll go to sketch, click on that face, sketch a circle. We'll sketch a one inch diameter circle, and that's gonna be a reamed hole. So, we'll click on that um, one inch face, just like that, we'll click right there, we'll hit extrude, we'll extrude it through the part. Hit OK or press Enter, and there is a reamed hole. Next, go back to Sketch, click on this face, make another circle, go to 2.75 inches. There we go. Hit Finish Sketch. Click on that, hit Extrude. We'll go minus 2 inches, hit OK. We'll add some fillets, and this isn't a plan part. This is just something we're throwing together to show off how to just do some Fusion 360 tool paths. So as I said, we'll uh, throw in some more fillets, make this part a little more pretty. Go 25 thou right there. Hit OK. So there's our simple little part with a reamed hole. Now it's time to add some tool paths. So we'll click on design, go down to manufacture, go to new setup, we gotta set our part up first. Go to turning, go to stock. We'll change fixed size stock to relative size cylinder and we'll add about 100 thou radial stock offset. Hit OK. Now, we'll check our X, Y, and Z, make sure that all looks good. Just double checking everything here. Right here, I uh, click on a button and kind of screw it up, so I just, instead of trying to figure out what I did wrong, just completely restart, because that's sometimes a lot faster. So click on Setup, go to Turning, That looks good. I'll go to check that out real quick. Yeah, that looks good. We want to make sure we get our setup just right. Go to stock. We'll change fixed size cylinder to relative size cylinder and add about 100 thou radial stock offset. After carefully reviewing everything, we hit OK. Next, it's time to add some tool paths. So our part is set up. Now we want to think about what we want to do first. And that's probably facing the part. So. We'll have to go to turning, turning face. Okay. Next, we'll have to select a tool. We'll create a tool. Right here, we accidentally click on create a mill tool, which is the wrong area to click on. Click cancel. Cancel there. Go back to select. Create a lathe tool. This will be a, a roughing tool, so we'll go down to corner radius, click on 164th, the size that looks okay, we'll hit okay. So 15 thou roughing tool, okay, that'll work. 
Looks like it generated a little toolpath there. Now we'll change our surface speed to 750, max to 2500. Always, always put in a max because you don't want this thing spinning out of control. Cutting feed about 10 thou. Okay. Check our passes. Hit OK. I'll rotate this part around real quick. Go to simulate, hit play. That looks good. Pretty simple. Now go to turning. We'll go down to feed and speed. Put on the max spindle. Change our cutting feed to 15,000. We can go a little bit faster when it's just roughing. And these are speeds and feeds I got directly from my box. I bought from the tool salesman the other day. Hit OK. Looks like it generated a toolpath. That's good. We'll go back into there because we want to take bigger roughing passes. We can go about 100,000 here. Before it was just about 39,000. So that's looking good. Go back to edit. We'll leave some stock. Axial, we'll go zero. Radial, four thou. That looks good. We want to add a finish pass. So we get a nice finish on the outside. We'll go back to turning. Turning profile. We'll select a tool. Not the same tool. We want a better tool. One with a finer radius on the edge. So we'll go four thou. Back to geometry, passes, turn off roughing passes, back to tool, change our speeds and feeds, 750 surface feet, max spindle 2500, cutting feed, we'll slow it down, we'll go about 7,000, double check everything, that all looks good. We'll hit OK. OK, awesome. So there's our finished toolpath. We'll simulate it real quick. Face, rough, and finish. Awesome. So now time for the reading tool. So we're going to go over to drilling. We're going to spot that hole first. We use a spot drill bigger than the hole, so the hole is one inch, so we use a inch and eighth spot drill. Now that tool is created, we'll go to geometry, select that hole, and we'll go to heights, go down to the bottom height, click on hole bottom, change that to chamfer width, we'll give it about 10,000 chamfer for our drill and reamer. Now, time for some speeds and feeds. We'll pretend this is a 304 stainless steel part and we got a high speed steel inch and an eighth spot drill. So we'll just type in our info real quick. Okay. So. We'll type in our speeds and feeds, 153 RPM, plunge rate 1, retract, we'll go about 10, hit OK there. Awesome, looks like it added a nice little spot drill right there. So there's a start. Next, we have to drill the hole. So what size drill do we use? We go back to our website, easyspeedsandfeeds.com, go to pre-ream drill size database, Scroll to the bottom where the bigger size uh, ream tools are. We're doing a one inch, so use about 980,000 drill. Okay, go back to Fusion, go to Drilling, create a tool, click on Ball End Mill, go down to Drill, 
change the diameter to 980,000. Okay, that looks good. Accept that tool. Now go to geometry, select that one inch hole. Just like that, that looks good. Go to height. Make sure it's going through. Change our cycle to chip breaking. Awesome. So, go our pec depth, we'll go about 100 thou. Pretty big drill. And we'll retract after about 400 thou. Okay, that looks good. Next, speeds and feeds for this big drill. Go back to 304 stainless steel. Go down to 304 stainless steel. We'll type in 980 thou. So diameter of our drill. Hundred and seventy five RPM. We keep filling out our info. That all looks good. Now we'll put in our speeds and feeds from the website. One seventy five RPM. Plunge one, retract twenty. Okay. Looking good. Now we just need a reamer. So we drilled a twenty thousand small. Now we need a one inch reamer. Go to create a tool, click on ball and mill, scroll down to reamer, click on that, change the diameter to one inch. Flute length is about four inches, okay. There we go. Accept that tool. Cycle, reaming, feed out, that's what we want. Geometry, click on the hole, go down to heights, drill tip through, what we want. Tool. Need some speeds and feeds. Okay, so scroll down once you're on the website to carbide reamers. We'll just pretend we have a carbide reamer here for a 304 stainless steel. One inch, 90 surface feet. Type in our RPM. Type in our cutting feed, inch per rev, which is about 10 thou. So Looks like we get going 344 RPM at three inches a minute. So type that in. Three inches a minute. Retract three inches a minute. The same in and the same out. Accept that. After we double check everything. Hit OK. OK, awesome. So there's all of our toolpaths. We go to simulate. Make sure we have all of them selected. We just had the ream right there. We'll hit play. It's facing, roughing, okay, that's what we like. Now it's spot drilled, now it's drilling, about 20 thou small, 980 thou. Retracting after every 300 thou. And there was the reamer, just like that. Pretty simple part. Hope you guys can find some sort of use out of this. Uh, subscribe for more daily Fusion 360 videos. Uh, comment what you want to see next. And uh, 